Okay, we are gonna be um, just going over how to use the watercolor pencils and kind of using our planning book. So, we are day one, um, your plan book, pencil should be already there, a box of color pencils will be on your tray, um, and then you will also have your watercolor um, paintbrush, which will be for your table. And the iPad, um, which we're gonna watch this together, so don't worry about the iPad, uh, for your table. This, the iPads are only if you are absent, but I'm gonna show you what to do. So, we're gonna flip to your color wheel page, fold it backwards. Now, this is if you are absent, you would get one of our class iPads. You're gonna look for the QR reader, click it, up pops the camera, and those little square, we wanna get that inside there's my picture. There you go. Inside that little thing, and it's going to click it. And then up pop is the um, the slideshow we're going to watch uh, for the information we're going to fill in. So, obviously, it's going through that. And then you would help fill this in with your colored pencils. So, that's what that scan is just kind of giving the thing that we're going to go over together, but if you are absent. So... The bad thing is I cannot sharpen these in my electric sharpener. So I have a little tiny sharpener at my um, table. I think I have one or two that I'll put out for you to sharpen um, if needed. So first thing is we're going to use the colored pencils to fill in. Well, actually, let's do primary colors. So if you remember the video, the primary colors, and you don't have to color in the whole square because these watercolors, I'll show you. Red. Make sure it's blue, not purple. What does blue and purple look like? Blue. And yellow. So, once you do that, again, this is computer paper. You gotta be real careful. And then you just push your fingers gently and water should start to come out. And these are new, no one's used them. See, and you rub. The mat on the table is like our big paper towel, so wipe that off. Because if you go straight to blue to yellow, you're going to make a new color. Wipe it off. And then yellow. Again, you don't need a lot of water. Um, it's just going to make it look smoother. Again, wipe it off on the big paper towel. So that's kind of what you're going to be doing um, through this whole thing. Now, to make um, the colors right here, so... You have your, I mean, you can actually fill this in as you do that one. If you have your blue here, where's my red? Red. And I would fill it in with the color all before you use the um, water. Yellow. So this is, this guide is going to help you um, know what colors to create the other colors. Orange. Careful, there's several greens because if you make um, if you use the lighter greens it's gonna make a lighter color the darker greens make dollar darker so I'm just gonna look like that's yellow green this is green so if you look at the words yellow green green so make sure you get actually the green green and purple which is violet make sure this is purple not blue or violet okay so you have your secondary and your primary. So these are gonna help guide you. So if you take the green colored pencil and the blue colored pencil, it's violet, make sure I get blue, blue. And we're going to make the blue green. So I'm gonna gently color a little green and on top a little blue and I hope this works. And if you mix it with the water, you should see a tad bit different. Now, maybe you needed more blue. I don't know if this is gonna work already wet. So, that's our goal, is using these colored pencils to do the coloring part first. Um, you have your secondary colors. Again, that's what two primary make green. Well, if you look at your chart up here, find green. Find green, what primary is up, blue? What primary is down? Yellow. So blue and yellow make green. Again, orange. Find orange. What two primaries are next to it? Yellow and red. 
violet. Find yet violet, what two primaries are next to it, blue and red. So that's how you're gonna fill in these um, warm colors and cool colors. Again, this video um, should cover most everything you need to know about colors. If not, then we will discuss it. So again, that's what you're doing today as we clean up. Please make sure that all your watercolor pencils are in here. Put that back on your tray. Um, please make sure that you do not lose the top to our watercolor brushes. I only let fourth and fifth grade use these, but the tops get back on. I think there's one without a top. So make sure they get back in your house. The house is on the tray. Um, your books shouldn't be too wet, but I would not close them just to be sure. I would leave them like this and put them back in your brown folder. And we'll move on to painting it tomorrow.